a Bangladeshi immigrant who set off a pipe bomb in New York City's busiest subway station at rush hour on behalf of ISIS has been convicted of terrorism charges. The verdict against Akade Ella, 28, was returned on Tuesday in Manhattan Federal Court after a week-long trial. After learning his fate, Alice spoke out. He told U.S. District Judge Richard Sullivan he was angry at President Donald Trump for threatening to bomb the Middle East. A jury found Ella guilty of all six criminal counts against him, including use of a weapon of mass destruction in support of a terrorist organization. Ella faces a mandatory 30 year prison sentence and possible life. Sentencing is set for April 5. The defense had not contested the bombing charges, but argued that Allah intended to kill only himself last December 11. We're not going to ask you to excuse his conduct, Allah's attorney Julia Gatto told jurors. But she said her client was a deeply troubled young man who wanted to take his own life to send a message about the mistreatment of Muslims. Scroll down for video share this article share and the Port Authority bus terminal in Midtown Manhattan, but three people suffered minor injuries. The only person who was seriously injured was the bomber himself. Federal prosecutors said Ella built the bomb out of a pipe taken from a construction site where he worked as an electrician using match heads and sugar as explosives and screws as shrapnel to main and kill commuters. They said he was inspired by online Islamic State hit propaganda urging supporters to carry out lone wolf attacks. The prosecution disputed the defense claim, saying Allah would not have strapped the bomb to his chest had he wanted to kill only himself. He designed it. He built it. Dottie picked the time. He picked the location, said prosecutor Rebecca Donaleski at the start of the trial. Before the attack, prosecutor said, Allah posted on Facebook, Trump you failed to protect your nation, followed by an Air Arabic message expressing support of ISIS. A prosecutor said Allah told an investigator after his arrest, I did it for the Islamic State. Allah lived with his mother, sister and two brothers in Brooklyn and was a green card holder. At the time of the attack his wife lived in Bangladesh and the couple had a six-month-old son. Allah's wife told Bangladeshi investigators that Allah had not prayed regularly before moving the United States in 2011 and officials said he had no criminal record in his home country. Authorities previously said Ella's self-radicalization began in 2014, when he started viewing materials online. Defense lawyer Amy Galicchio agreed Ella opposed the U.S. government's policies toward Muslims in the Middle East. But she said he did not try to set off his pipe bomb when he was on crowded subway cars with hundreds of people. Instead, she said, he waited until he was in a largely isolated corridor, where it was caught on a security video stream that was shown to jurors. It was a disturbing act by a disturbed man, Galicchio said.